Hi guys, it's Rebecca. So this past weekend was my Orchid Society's annual show and sale. And as you can see, I kind of went overboard. <laughs> I got 12 plants. Totally was not expecting to get this many plants, but there were so many cool ones and such good deals that I couldn't pass it up. So, yeah. Oh well. Let me show you what I got. <laughs> so, as you can tell, I don't, well, you might not be able to tell, but uh, all the plants came from Tension Gardens. Awesome plants. Awesome seller. Um, very knowledgeable. So, yeah. Let's get down to the goods. So, originally, I had placed a pre order for just two plants. And the one was this one. Encyclia Marie, and as you can see, it's got a new growth starting. It's about an inch long or so, so that's good. But then right here, I don't know if you can tell, because it's kind of dark, but there's like another green nubbin right there. So I think that's another growth. I'm hoping it's another growth. We'll find out. Keep our fingers crossed. I'm just going to put these over here. So I just wanted to show you what they came in and like what they looked like before I repot them. Because I'm about to repot them. Except for this guy. Because he's about to go dormant. It's Signochi's Wine Delight. So I won't repot him until next year when he's actively growing again. Anyways, the second plant that I pre-ordered is this little itty bitty guy. It's uh, an Arangus Lidioalba var Rodusta, if my thing will focus. There we go. And as you can see, it's got a new root with a new tip. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but underneath that bottom most leaf is like a little green thing. I'm, I can't do it with one hand, so hold on. Let me see if I can... Can you see that? I think. Might be a spike. I don't want to get my hopes up. And I'm hoping I don't kill this thing. Because it's so freaking cute. And then I think it's got a new leaf going to start soon. So it's pretty awesome. It was a really, really nice little plant. I like it. So we'll see if I can get it to bloom. Uh, let's see. What's next? Oh, okay. We'll do this guy. Big guy. Okay, so I've been watching a lot of other orchid growers YouTube videos lately and Roger has this guy on a mount and I've watched him talk about it and it just looks so cool because it was so fuzzy and furry and I was like if I see one I have to get it and wouldn't you know he showed up tension showed up with a whole bunch of them so I grabbed this guy it was the biggest one and uh, I mounted it onto this piece of cork as soon as I got it home. So we'll see how it does. It's Dendrobium senile, senile, whatever. I'm nuts. So yeah, it works. <laughs> and let's see who's next. Uh, this one. This one is a fowl. Fowl equestris var cerulea. And like, I don't know if you can tell, but like, this is how long the spike is, right? And all of these had previous blooms for a first time blooming. That is nuts. And the plants or the blooms themselves are adorable. And there's so many of them, but they're on their way out. So I'm hoping I can get this one to bloom again because it is really cute and I really like it. Let's see, who's next? Mm, oh, this big guy. <clears throat> okay, so this one is Phalaenopsis valentinii. You can see the parentage right there. It's a sequential bloomer, as you can tell from the spike. And it actually has two of them, each with a new bud forming. But that is the flower. I love that color. It's so deep. It's so nice. And 
it kind of has like a a slight fragrance that kind of reminds me of like I don't know some kind of spice so I really like it and you know this leaf is like huge the newest leaf nice and shiny big leaves so I'm hoping I can get that one to keep blooming uh, let's see what next oh this little guy so he had a whole bunch of these and as you can tell from the spike it had a lot of blooms on it and it's been blooming for a while this one's got a lot of you know healthy looking roots and I don't know if you can see them in there let me see if I can find one there's one right in there at the bottom but it has like a decent amount of green roots inside the pot too so I'm happy about that oh no it's not a first bloomer it's bloomed three times anyways um this one is Phalaenopsis Taing Shin Blue Jay so supposed to be blue but I'll try to hold this still so you can see it unfortunately I knocked the lip off of this guy on the way home from the show on Friday but the lip is dark dark purple and it's so cute so it's got another bud that will be opening soon so I'm hoping that I can take some decent looking pictures of it then and I like that one I like the blues I don't really like pink but and that one kind of has some pink in it but I'm not gonna complain so uh, let's see something different <laughs> this is a Francis Fox watching Danny's videos about it and everything as soon as I saw it I was like oh right then let's pick this one up so it's got one new growth that's maturing this is why I picked it because it was the one with the largest of the new growths so I'm hoping that it'll start producing roots from that new growth soon the root system is meh but I haven't really had a chance to like look inside the pot but it's really wobbly so I don't think there's very many roots in it but that's okay with the new growth being as big as it is I'm hoping it'll start making some new roots soon uh, let's see which one next. Let's do this big guy. This guy. Young, Young Kong Sun. This guy, oh my goodness, the picture of it, it was like, the flower was a really bright, almost fluorescent green. And then the lip was like, I don't know, like really dark red. And as soon as I saw that, I was just like, wicked, I gotta have this. So, this guy's got two new roots coming out right now. You can see the nubs. One new growth started. It's about an inch long or so. And then it's got another active eye right there. And it's plumping up. So it'll probably start growing soon, too. Oh, look, there's another root nub there. So it's got three root nubs. Nice. And another plumping up eye in there but you can't really see because it's really dark so yeah I'm really excited about this guy I hope I can get it to bloom uh, let's see which one's next I'll do this dendrobium so this one is Mingles Sapphire and I had a Victoria or yeah Victoria Regine before and I killed it but it wasn't really that healthy to begin with so I had like no roots on it and it was really it was just a couple of dead canes and I didn't really have much hope for it to begin with so when I saw this one I was like well if I can keep a hybrid of it alive maybe I'll try it again if I see it so this is what the flowers look like it's kind of pinkish but if I can grow it healthier maybe it'll be bluer it's supposed to be like blue so well you know what I mean purple but anyways it's got three little canes and one big cane which is I'm presuming the newest growth really really skinny canes at the bottom but it's got some roots I don't know if you can see them so I'm hoping I can get that one to keep growing and this this growth right here it looks like it uh, it's oh you can't see it um, 
it looks like it's still got like active root tips like so, like it's still growing all three of them do actually so i'm hoping maybe that it'll continue growing bigger for me okay so second to last another foul this is javonica by hieroglyphica var alba this one i just the blooms on this are just ridiculous i love the barring around it and like i don't normally like pink you can ask any of my Orchid Society friends. But this one, I don't know. It's not too pink. It's more yellowy. But, yeah. And it's got a new leaf starting way down in there. And it's got some decent roots on it. So I'm hoping that uh, I can keep it alive. And it won't die. <laughs> because I really like this one. Like, look how big the freaking leaf is. That's huge. And last, but certainly not least... I got another Tulumnia. And this was the only one he had. And he had, like, well, this was the only one of this one that he had. But he had other ones, and they were, like, the standard white and red, or white and pink, or pink. And I saw this guy, and I was just, like, sold. I, I just picked it up, and I said, I'm done. It's like, look at it. Look at the flower on it. It's, like, ridiculous. If I would stop shaking so much. But it's mostly yellow with little brown freckles on it and stuff. I thought it was interesting looking. I haven't seen one like this before. So it's kind of meh. It's very top heavy. I got to put it into a pot as soon as I can and uh, see what we can do. See if we can get it to grow somewhere. But that was my haul from the Fraser Valley Orchid Society show. It was a lot of fun, met a lot of people, and uh, hopefully we can get some more people to join the society. If you haven't joined a society yet, you should seriously consider doing it because you meet so many people that have similar interests as you, and uh, you get to talk about something that you like, you know, and like for me personally, I like it because I get to go to the meetings, gets me out of the house away from two screaming children. And I get like two hours of peace and quiet where I get to do something for me, not kids movies or kids TV shows or going to the mall or McDonald's or anything like that. So, and you learn a lot and like the shows are so much fun. You get to like display all your stuff and then if you get a ribbon, you get to like be proud of yourself and brag and everything and it's great. And then you get to see everybody else's. And then you get to add all these extra plants onto your wish list. So your wish list becomes super long because you see all these plants that are grown so nice. It makes you jealous. That's why I got most of these. Anyways, I'm going to stop it here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And like I said, if you're not a part of a society, seriously consider joining one. You'll learn a lot. Bye.